Korea gave its answer to South Korea's offer for dialogue over the situation at the inter-Korean Kaesong Industrial Complex, and the answer is no. In response to the rejection, Seoul said it would pull out all of its workers from the shared manufacturing zone north of the border. Here's our Unification Ministry correspondent, Hwang Sung-yi, with more. All South Korean workers remaining at the inter-Korean Kaesong Industrial Complex will be coming home on Saturday. This was the great measure announced by South Korean Unification Minister Ryu gil on Friday, following North Korea's rejection of Seoul's offer for dialogue. As the sufferings of South Korean citizens remaining in the Kaesong Industrial Complex is expanding due to North Korea's unjustified actions, we have decided to pull out all remaining South Korean personnel for their safety. The minister urged the North to ensure the safe return of the South Korean workers and to guarantee that assets of the South Korean companies operating there are protected. On Thursday, South Korea asked the North to talk about restarting operations at the Joint Business Park, giving it until noon on Friday for an answer. Business at Kaesong came to a sudden halt earlier this month when North Korea pulled all its workers out of the shared manufacturing zone amid escalating tensions. However, North Korea rejected Seoul's offer. The rejection coming about two hours past the deadline and called South Korea's proposal for dialogue a mockery. While a complete shutdown of the Kaesan complex seems inevitable, the decision will likely be a costly one for both Koreas. Already more than 53,000 North Korean workers have been out of jobs for over two weeks, while the losses of South Korean businesses with factories in Kaesang amounts to tens of millions of dollars. The Kaesang Industrial Complex has symbolic value as the last remaining beacon of inter-Korean cooperation, and experts say that if the business park is completely shut down, there will be no political link, no communication and no ties between the two countries. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.